rates across the country. Yeah, tonight we dive into the pressing issue of rental rates in Cape Coral and beyond. A recent study by an expert from FGCU along with Florida Atlantic University and the University of Alabama looked at 100 of the largest metro areas in the U.S. and Cape Coral made the cut. Week News anchor Emma Heaton looked into the findings. The reality of rent prices stings. It's really demoralizing. And Billy Garreau feels the pain. Um, I was definitely forced here unwillingly. Billy spent most of his life in Estero, but had to make the move to Cape Coral because that's where prices were most affordable. Realtor Jose Torna hears this a lot. So year over year has gone down 1.36%. Is that a huge number? 1% is not a huge number, but I think it, it's, it's the start of a trend. I asked Torna to take a look at the Waller Weeks and Johnson rental index put together by multiple researchers, including FGCU professor Shelton Weeks and FAU real estate economist Ken Johnson. What we look at is observed rents from Zillow over the previous 36 months to determine the, the trend in rent growth. And then we compare that trend and where we would expect it to be in the current month to the actual price we're seeing in the marketplace. The data shows it's more expensive to rent in Cape Coral than other big cities like Tampa, Orlando, or Denver, Chicago, even Atlanta. It's a very popular part of the world. I mean, your population is approaching 800,000 in the metropolitan area. The silver lining, the cost of rent is decreasing in Cape Coral. Year over year, down 1.36%. Month over month, down 0.44%. What this means for people, and it's still very expensive. We're still in an affordability crisis. The rental crisis in terms of rapidly rising rents are over. Fort Myers has, and, and, and Cape Coral have built enough units to catch people, at least for right now. But Johnson said the affordability crisis is not over. So I would say we've, we're turning the corner. We're just not there yet. Let's don't let up. Let's be diligent and keep building at a pace that's sufficient to get both home ownership and renting back in line with local incomes. When do you expect to see that happen? <laughs> I don't know, but it won't be. It's to get rents, to get rents and home prices in line with the income. Best case scenario, another year to 18 months. Realtor Torna told me he's hopeful the prices will keep going down. Inventory uh, in what's available, renters have a lot more choices. Weeks hopes the period of upward pressure on rent prices stays behind us for a while, but the key. Uh, often rest with increased density allowing more units in a smaller area helps to drive down the, the cost of housing. Balancing building with population growth. Emma Heaton, Wink News. Well, the interactive index also has a column that shows a house poor metric indicating the minimum income needed to avoid spending 30% or more on rent. In Cape Coral, it's 87,676. That's higher than the national average of 78,304.